Hi everyone. In today's video, we will go through the very basics of Mitsubishi PLCs. The two most common series of PLCs from Mitsubishi is the Q-Series and the FX Series. The Q-Series is usually used for bigger and more complex projects and the FX series are usually used for the more basic and smaller projects. In this tutorial playlist, we will be using the FX0 PLC. First, we will learn a bit how to wiring the FX series PLCs. On the top side of the PLC, it will look like this. Hot goes on to the L terminal and neutral to the end terminal and ground goes to this terminal. The S-slash S terminal need to be connected to zero voltage DC. The rest of the terminals is where you will connect inputs with 24 voltage DC. On the bottom side of the PLC it will look like this. Here you can find zero and 24 voltage DC output terminals if needed. And the rest of the terminals are for your output signals. Each COM terminal will decide how much voltage your coil will give for each output terminal. For example, if you put 24 voltage to COM1, then Y1 will give an output signal of 24 voltage. Some of the COM terminals are connected to more than one output signal like COM4 for example. It will connect both Y6, 7, 10 and 11. So if you put 24 voltage here all four will also give an out signal of 24 voltage. This is where you plug in the programming cable for download your project. This lever put your PLC into stop or run mode. And the VR1 and VR2 is potentiometers for analog signals. In here you can add additional hardware, for example input or output cards. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we will go through how to make your first project in GX Works 2.